John says, I had a user that was hosting a Teams meeting today, but they did it while they were remote and were logged into their work desktop via TeamViewer. Uh, so not to be confused with anything in Teams, but TeamViewer. The meeting worked fine for everyone else, but he could not hear anything and they could not hear him. So that's kind of an issue. See, so reading the transcription, hopefully transcription's on for that problem. Uh, he knows now in the future to log into the web version of Teams and not remote in through TeamViewer. But why did his audio not work? Is this normal for a remote connection? 100%. So in any type of scenario through like a team viewer or a virtual desktop, by nature, those are not turned on. Also depends if you're using the free version or the paid version, if you can even control those settings, right? Mm -hmm. Especially with team viewer, but definitely a team viewer configuration. If they can fix it, not sure. It depends if it's the paid or free. Yeah. And I mean, when you go through any one of those solutions, virtual, remote, team viewer, nothing is ever going to behave the way that you would like it to. And um, they all come with their idiosyncrasies when you're going into it. And there's so many potential complications around things like audio and video as well as exactly. another, you know, you know, yeah. if they are they what type of browser are they actually using? Cause, you know, if you do Teams through that viewer using that browser, um, that can have complications using a browser too. So uh, but there's just so many, so many potential uh, minefields really well, yeah. on that one. Mm. And you're adding multiple actual application configurations to it because you go into the admin yeah, the and you configure teams and here's our policies and this is what you can do and you can't do and then in maybe team viewer you're a lot more lax you allow more things but then when you're trying to use team viewer to teams you're still those things aren't going to work right because you're have conflicting configurations so. i was just thinking too is that if it's i'm like i don't know it's through the work device but you know, some if it's a shared device, because I've had that scenario where again, like the browser, everything seemed to be fine. The settings of the browsers, no, but the machine itself, they're set up. They're they're meant to be quiet, not have the the sound and directly. They're not meant to be used in that way. So, like there, you you have to uh, think about those factors. Now, if they're able now for everything we just said, if if he was able to go in and join the last team's meeting in the exact same scenario and yet it worked there, call us. That, so that, well, that's a different issue. Like, so right. something else might be going on. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that may have been the team's issue to sure as well, mm -hmm. considering how yeah. it teams, teams tends to want to change on I mean, you every on a day-to-day -day so, basis. Well, it, and we've talked about this in other recordings too, is that like I have the exact same setup. I have the regular meetings, work meetings, the community calls like this. I don't change any settings. So I know when I log into a Teams meeting, if something's not working, it's not me, Teams. It's you, Teams. Um, you know, it's 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 definitely there's something going on there. In this scenario, it's 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 a non-normal, non-standard for for the way that John describes it to dial into that so that it yeah. could be a number of different things. Okay. So that's And then there's go, go, go over to your mobile. Host your meeting from a mobile. Host your meeting there's so many other options that you could have well, you know kicked off. A lot off of people do well that as automatic that. great that's yeah. a great point because a lot of people do yeah. that automatic by default now mm -hmm. and I do the same thing mm -hmm. is mm -hmm. is Teams if you've got a decent uh, uh, a phone connection mm -hmm. It's super and it's, easy and you're to enabled through authentication and with your organization right. to do a meeting on Teams because a lot of organizations, you know, will go, no, we can't do a BYOD on a phone or a, you know anything like that. So there is that, but yeah, it's a great option if mm. you're having problems with the desktop. And often, and I, it, there's a lot of it, when when there's an upgrade, there's something that's happening. Uh, Microsoft is updating something on the back end, and and Teams is acting a little loopy. Oftentimes, no. the phone. I'm just saying, <laughs> in theory. No. No. Uh, yes. But but and people will jump over to their phones, and the mobile version should be, is working fine. So yeah, and the mobile version actually works pretty good. Yeah. It, it does. does. It's a fairly but, nice yeah. client now. I would yeah. argue it's it's more stable than the desktop. Yeah. And You've got a good valid point there. Yeah, yeah, and the transitioning from one to the other now, if you're on one, you need it's to really easy. so much better, so much yeah. better. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, I'm regularly doing that, especially if it's the Microsoft calls at two or three in the morning. It's like, I'm going to transfer over to somewhere I'm really warm. <laughs> now, if we could get that Teams mobile experience on a Windows phone again, that would be a dreamy. Oh, my. <laughs> Windows. Oh, we're back to that. Oh. Christian, you, Windows phones, Zooms, I don't know what to do with you anymore. If, yeah, can I get teams on my Zoom interface? <laughs> <laughs>